Hello again, welcome back to Air Job Boss TV. Today we have a very big subject and this is our general airline interview information category because it's a huge, huge topic and it, it, it is core competencies of a professional pilot. Now, if you go online and simply Google core competencies of professional pilots, you will come up with a pretty decent list. And I, I expect you would do so, and you're gonna write them down, and you're gonna think about these core competencies, and you're gonna figure out, do I have them? Do I not? How do I develop them? And how do I tell a story about each one of them? Just in case someone says, tell me about leadership, tell me about problem solving, tell me about conflict resolution, which of course, they're always asking about during these interviews. Now I have to tell you something. HR departments are extensively trained. They are these subject subjects are extensively studied. They're developed by universities, professionals all over the world. So core competencies are very carefully thought about and they're incorporated into the training to somebody who's asking you questions. And they're actually listening for do you have the core competencies? Now it's really the best case scenario is to tell them, I have good leadership. Oh, good, that's on the list of core competencies. I go through training very efficiently. Oh, that's on there. I have high levels of customer care. Oh, that's on the list. So when you get prepared by a professional interview preparation person, they will tell you to drop in these words. These core competencies need to be demonstrated by simply saying the words, this, that, and another thing, okay? That's where professional one-on-one -on -one preparation comes in handy. Uh, anyway, let's go over some of the core competencies. I'm just gonna explain them to you in general. So even people that are developing their, their professionalism, their skills, talents, and experience can reference them and continuously keep them in mind that these are the things you need to develop. Number one is uh, base of knowledge. So this is why college educated individuals from an aeronautical background are valued more than a person with an education, not in aviation, because a core competency of any professional is specialized knowledge. So the longer you've been studying it, and the more specialized the, the curriculum is, obviously the more knowledge you have. So knowledge, that's important. Uh, number two, analytical thinking. Analytical thinking is the process of just processing information and figuring out what it all means. Now, the airlines test this through um, uh, critical thinking skills tests, like the computer-based testing. Now, if you're going to an interview that has skills-based testing, cognitive testing, there are services that you can actually pay and practice these tests, and I highly, highly recommend them. They're not that expensive. AirJob Boss does not endeavor in this because those tests continually change, and it's important that those things are as up-to-date as possible. We simply don't have the resources to track that information and generate that type of testing, but many sites do, so please search it. Problem solving. Of course, as a leader, you have to be a good problem solver because in aviation, stuff happens and you have to solve problems at the gate, in the air, during training, uh, and anytime you're walking around uh, the airport, yeah? So you want to demonstrate good problem solving. And this comes through your answers in many difficult questions that, that ask you about, you know, bad decisions you've made, failures as a leader, and you can work in problem solving and demonstrate problem solving. Trainability and learning. A lot of airlines are aware that applicants come to ground school and do not have the skills to pass training and often have to spend additional resources in training individuals up to standard. So they wanna know that you have demonstrated proper ability to be trained and immerse yourself in training courses and be successful. Work ethic. This has to do, work ethic is about this, staying on mission. The company that you're interviewing with has a mission, a mission statement, and their safety department, their flight department has what's called a uh, operational safety policy. This is the mission statement of that airline. So being having a good work ethic is working toward their mission. Yeah, employing their standard operating procedures to accomplish their mission. So when you get a question that, that is dealing with work ethic, you have to be able to say the words, 
my skills, talents, and experience to accomplish the mission of your company. Yeah, Utilizing standard operational procedures in your company culture to further the goals of your company. These are what they're looking for. This is what a professional pilot work ethic is. Following SOPs and accomplishing the mission of that company. Conflict resolution. It is important as a leader that you have conflict resolution. And more and more, it seems that people are more sensitive, more angry, have shorter patience, do not want to com uh, comply with regulations, do not want to work as team members. So the companies are vetting you as an applicant to see if you have conflict resolution skills because this is the only thing that makes a team nowadays because teams, team members are almost sometimes working against one another. So good conflict resolution with other personality types and other individuals is really important in building that team and continuing to move that team toward the mission or the task of that team even when personalities conflict, yeah? So that's gonna be important that you able to demonstrate this during an interview. Customer care. The next is customer care. Now, in some airlines where they're carrying packages or cargo, it is not as important. But the majority of pilots are going to be uh, endeavor in flying passengers. Now, customer care is a huge uh, advantage edge to their marketing and sales promotion. So airlines basically have airplanes, employees, and they fly from one point to the other. So how does a company entice someone to fly on their equipment rather than somebody else's and they say we have better customer care now that can be played out or not played out because there's a lot of people keeping their eye on customer care and writing articles so it's important that their new employees demonstrate that they've had good customer care techniques in the past they've employed them and they will bring those and expand those at their current airlines so they're going to of course ask you a question associated with customer care and you will be have to demonstrate that integrity Integrity is so important in aviation because the safety management systems require a feedback loop. That means telling on yourself or disclosing when you've made a mistake. So they're going to ask you, tell me a time you fail, fail. Tell me a time you've made a bad decision. And what this is testing is, do you have the integrity to admit you were wrong, figure out how to prevent it and report it to the company through their safety management system in order that they can prevent these from happening to other people and improve the overall safety. Improving overall safety is incumbent on professionals having the integrity to admit when they're wrong and request assistance and figure out ways to prevent errors in the future. So integrity will be tested. Safety conscious. Now, this is uh, extremely important to aviation because guess what? Aviation is still incredibly risky. The risks associated with aviation are still there and omnipresent. It used to be that we as an industry would lose a single aircraft haul every week, 52 a year. And of course, the amount of people on board those uh, airplanes that were lost over half of them were fatalities. So the, the, the risks associate, uh, associated with air travel are still very real, very, very real. And of course, it is the number one marketing component of every airline to be safe. Now, the safety management systems and the flight department's operational safety policy will tell you straight out the priority of all airlines is safety. So, of course, they are going to want you to demonstrate how are you safety conscious? Do you use standard operational procedures? And if those procedures are wrong, how do you make a communication to correct them? Can you identify your errors and make a correction? Can you take uh, advice from someone who's a subordinate who's next to you critiquing you and trying to correct you from errors? So they're going to ask you a number of questions to try to figure out how safety oriented are you and do you understand the company's safety policies, their safety management system, and have you a personal program to improve your safety? How do you do that? How do you as an individual improve your safety? Because a lot of people get a type rating and become a captain and the learning kind of stops. So they're going to be asking you questions associated. How do you become a better pilot? what in your mind makes a professional pilot. 
and you're going to need to demonstrate safety discipline, a discipline in, in improving your personal uh, safety level and working in safety environments and putting the tools they have in place. So those are basic core competencies. As a, as a conclusion, the company has core competencies that are written down in their HR packet and they're asking you questions. And right next to those questions in the answer critique category is going to be literally core competencies written down and it's going to say did this person demonstrate this core competency on a scale of one to five uh, are they plus average or minus there is going to be a matrix identifying the core competencies so it's really important when you prepare you are focused on this not just interesting stories but understanding the core competencies they're looking for in each question and telling them by using those words that you have those core competencies it's through the story you tell. Anyway, I want to kind of cut it down and cut it off now because I don't like to make these um, videos too long. But if you are having a, a very important airline uh, airline interview, I would seriously have you consider professional one-on-one -on -one preparation, and Air Job Boss does that. You can learn more by clicking the link below at airjobboss.com, and at any time you can email me at info at airjobboss.com if you have any questions about the service we provide. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video.